It's Tuesday, which means it's a Tuesday takeover day. Mm -hmm. Uh, What do you have here in round number two, Rafe? I'm pretty excited about this because the biggest, probably the second biggest gambling event and sports event of the year is about to get underway, Mm -hmm. and that would be March Madness. So I have filled up my bracket. See? Now, how many do you fill out? Uh, Mm -hmm. Just one, and I usually just post this bracket everywhere. Uh, I am disappointed in this bracket. It's very top heavy. So mm-hmm. if there's a lot of upsets early, yeah. this bracket is busted. See, now I heard something very interesting that I never thought about it this way because I'm not a big college basketball, college sports fan in general. Right. But uh, they always talk about, oh, like the, the number five seed got upset by like the number 12 five seed. Five and 12 mm-hmm. is usually guaranteed an upset every tournament. But here's the thing. It's not yeah. really an upset because even if you're a five seed, that just means you're in the top 20. Yeah. yeah. Right? So it's like still a, an upset like based top, on rankings. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, it's it's it's, it's an upset that's not that much of an upset. It's a pretty big upset. Yeah. It's yeah. fair. It's yeah. a fair upset. There are four fives mm. in the tournament. <laughs> there are. <laughs> you know? And there are four twelves. Uh, so what I did, so I got this bracket, and so I'm going to post this to a bunch of different, you know, CBS has a contest, Yahoo has a contest, ESPN has a contest. I'm posting it to all the contests, mm-hmm. but I am going to post a second bracket to all these contests as well. It's the Menace and Cameron bracket. Oh, boy. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> so, no, they, do they have to combine brains on this one? This or? is a combined <laughs> effort. I gave Cameron the East and the West and Menace the South and the Midwest, right? Uh, or reverse. Yeah, whatever reverse. it is. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I had the one on the right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so basically, the one on the right. their combined uh-huh. brain power, we're going to see if their bracket can beat my bracket. So we'll check in on these brackets as the games go along. The games start Thursday this week. Uh, all right. Okay, so you see where it says Sweet 16? Yes. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> see? You got round yeah. one, two. I so see it. Sweet yeah, 16's yeah, yeah. It's in, in there. in the middle. You even got to yeah. teach Menace how to read a bracket. That was that Cameron. That was Cameron. <laughs> oh, it was? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So huh. let's let's go, Cameron. Let's look at your Sweet 16. Uh-huh. So we'll see if you have any upsets going on right. in there. Your Sweet 16 from the top. I have G-Web. <laughs> G-Web. See, mm-hmm. already... He's picking, That's what it says. It says G Web. He's picking G Web to upset Virginia, oh the my number God. one seed. <laughs> okay. <What? laughs> Wait, it you never happened. Do you see the seedings? Do you know what the seedings are? If by seedings you mean the team, the <laughs> <laughs> the college names? Yeah. No, no, no. The seeding. So yeah. do you see that it's number one Virginia taking on G yeah. Web in round one? Yeah. Okay. And you went with G Web. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. By the way, that's Gardner Webb. Gardner yeah. Webb. Obviously, yeah. but so I want to say for some time, so I said G Webb. So he's got G Webb in the Sweet 16. Yeah. Oh, wait, are you doing that as a joke? Doing what as a joke? That's a long shot. <laughs> I mean, you realize that, right? That's the number. Like you're you're picking the number yeah. one seed to fall. Yeah, because you know what? Even the mighty fall sometimes. Okay. All right. And who's Virginia taking on in that game in the Sweet 16? Come again. <laughs> so you got Virginia on the top line. Who's on the next line? Uh, dude. Below G-Web? it. Below oh, Kansas. Right Kansas. <laughs> Sorry. H, man. Do you know up and down? Yes. Yeah, right. She said above Virginia. Sorry. Kansas. And that <sighs> wouldn't be Kansas. That would be Kansas State. Kansas State. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kansas is in the Midwest. That's the diff. Okay. In the next game in the Sweet 16, who do you have playing? Keep going down. Uh, Old Dominion. Old Dominion, okay, against a number 14 seed. Yes. Against? Colgate. A, <laughs> you like a the toothpaste. number 15 seed. Yeah. Dude, I don't got all <laughs> day, man. <laughs> Who do you have in the next game? North Carolina. Uh-huh. And Kansas. The, yes, the actual. What Kansas. is the difference between Kansas and Kansas? Kansas well, State's state. a different school. Kansas University. State is different than Kansas. What is Ka- Kansas University? Kansas Jayhawks. Oh, University of Kansas. Yeah. Oh, okay. And who's even, in the, I know that you moron. Who's in the even, and I didn't even go is to upset. a state or a university? <laughs> I don't know. Who's the in the last school? game? You didn't go to a state. <laughs> He's never been to one. State you never school. been to a state. <laughs> I didn't go to a state okay, school. Who's your final game in the Sweet Sixteen? Iowa. Mm-hmm. And and that would be it, Iowa State. Iowa State. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And is it Wofford? Wolf, Wofford. Wofford. Yeah. yeah. Wofford. Wofford. Okay. Now, what if this turns out to be spot on? And he won a billion dollars. Oh, my God. That would be incredible. Menace, let's look at your sweet 16. Yeah, right. 714 says, okay. holy ish, this segment is only pissing me off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, geez. Now, right. Did you have any strategy? Like, what were you, like, when you were looking at those two teams playing yeah. each other, like, what went through your brain? Uh, I went off of 
uniqueness of the name, I think, first. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm-hmm. So like G Web, I chose because I was like, ah, oh, it's mm. you know, interesting. It, cool, more man. interesting. It sounds than, street, right? Like a yes. G Web. Yeah. G Web. Or like G Wagon. I right? went with Old Dominion because I was like, you know, old. They've been around for a while. They know what they're doing. They know what they're yeah. doing. <laughs> um, College kids, yeah. Colgate, because yeah. I know the toothpaste. Toothpaste, sure. <laughs> yep. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, North Carolina, mm. I don't really know why. Okay. Because uh, they're a number I've, one seed, maybe? Right. And I've been to both Kansas and Iowa, so. Uh-huh. So there. Familiar, All right. Familiarity. Sweet. Okay. Menace, let's see what you got for your sweet 16. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number one would be Duke. Okay. I picked Duke, and then Virginia Tech. Okay. Next. LSU. Okay. Uh, Mich- uh, Michigan State. Okay. Uh, Gonzaga. Uh-huh. And Murray. Okay, Murray State. Huh. And... Maybe because his last name is McMurray. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's is that why. the reason that you went with that? Yeah, I'm like, okay. I don't know either one of these. And then Buffalo and Michigan. Okay, Buffalo. All right, see, the, that's a little bit more likely. It, Ours were kind of the same. Yeah, so Menace, what was your strategy when you were looking at these teams? Um, just teams that I heard about, like when the news is on. Uh huh. Like, that's it. Teams <laughs> that's I heard it, about like, when the news is on. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, Cameron, yeah. back to you. You're mm-hmm. Elite Eight. Elite Eight. I have G Web. Uh huh. And Colgate. Uh huh. And then North Carolina. Uh-huh. Can you imagine if those were the teams? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Like what? It, there like, would have to be a plague. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. North Carolina versus uh, Wofford. Okay. Okay, so if you want to retire, this is what you do. You put a bet on this bracket. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. if it if, hits, if you it will hits. be a bajillionaire. Yeah. Menace, your lead eight is? Eight? Yep, your lead eight. Uh, I have four teams here. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Okay, Duke, Agreed. LSU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Okay. Gonzaga uh-huh. and Michigan. Okay. You mean Gonzaga? Gonzaga. Gonzaga, <laughs> like Baga. Gorgonzola. Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Okay, Gonzaga. so. Like Ag. It rhymes with bag. Gonzaga. Cameron, your mm-hmm. two teams Gonzaga. in the final four are? Colgate. Uh-huh. And North Carolina. Okay, and Menace, your two teams are? Duke and Gonzaga. Okay. Zaga. <laughs> Zaga. So out of all this nonsense, I do have three of those teams in the final four. Really? Are you oh, serious? Rip. I have Duke and Zaga, North Carolina, and then I have Tennessee coming out of the South. Well, those are three of the top four seeds. Right. That's why I said my thing is so top heavy. Yeah. And then my national champion. You don't have Colgate in there? I don't. <laughs> all right. Come Come on. On. She has crap. I, yeah. I think everybody would love it if it was Duke, North Carolina for the final for the championship. Right. Oh, yeah. So I have Duke, mm-hmm. North Carolina, and then I have Duke winning the whole thing. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Duke? I have Duke. Duke winning the whole thing? Mm-hmm. Who do you think wins the whole thing, Cam? I think, uh, I'm going Colgate. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> 714 says, this is so frustrating. I'd have a better chance of explaining this to my wife than Cameron. <laughs> yeah. That's true. What were, the, what were the little numbers called again? Seating. I didn't know. That's Seating. like the standings? Yeah, ranking, yeah, I yeah. did not know that going in. <laughs> Had I known that, I might have picked different. Well, games. that's why I asked you in the uh, very beginning. Uh, I said, "Do you yeah. understand what you're looking at?" Well, I mean, Do you know what seedings I are. I can yeah. see that they're numbers, and then there's names. Here's on my the question: lines. So, when it says number one Virginia, yeah. uh-huh. number sixteen G Web, what did yeah. you think that and meant? And a team yeah. moves on. I just well, thought that was like their identifying number, like the, like a shortcut. <laughs> oh, oh kind of like, right. like if you're in a marathon, you have a number. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or like the number Excellent on the back page. Dude, I mean, honestly, I didn't even. Notice those numbers until we started reading these on the air right now. Wow. <laughs> it just went str- I straight off name re- uh, recognition of the schools. That's it. If right. their ba- bracket beats my bracket, How I'm going to be. How pissed will you be? Oh, you're going to dive out the window. <laughs> It'll be like breakfast on me for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go with your gut, right? So Rape. send those over here so All I can right. be sure to upload this and hopefully yeah. CBS Sportsline won't explode. We have mm. a uh, text here that says, I'm going to need a suicide prevention number if Cameron keeps talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. I understand uh, yeah. March Madness can be very confusing. Where I used to be confused, because like I said, I am not a college sports fan, but where I would get confused is you would hear people talking about going to the tournament and winning right. the whatever. Yeah. And and so, and after that is when they would end up in March Correct. Madness in the NCAA tournament. Correct. I'm like, what's the difference? They already had a championship. So right. how is there a that championship and now there's this championship? Too many championships. True. Yeah. Too many. Really, it's not. Just be one. Well, no. Now I understand it. Right. You understand that three of the teams are I'm hanging out with Ravens from the ACC. <laughs> right. 
It know? can be very confusing, much like when they were trying to explain it in basketball. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Dan Patrick. And I'm Kenny May. The playoff picture is now starting to emerge. This is how Cameron hears it. Oh, completely. <laughs> by the way. So with last night's victory over Boston, next week the Beers must beat Indianapolis in order to advance to Charlotte. That's in an effort to reduce their magic number to three. Right, and then the Beers can advance to the National Eastern Division North to play Tampa. So if the Beers beat Detroit and Denver beats Atlanta in the American Southwestern Division East Northern, Milwaukee goes to the Denslow Cup. Unless Baltimore can upset Buffalo and Charlotte ties Toronto, then Oakland would play L.A. and Pittsburgh in a blind choice round robin. And if no clear winner emerges from all this, the two-man sack race will be held on consecutive Sundays until a champion is crowned. Pretty much, right? That's exactly what it sounds like to me. Uh, I I do, I uh will admit, understand Cameron's misunderstanding of the numbers, that he thought it was just an identifier. Yeah. (laughs) But all the rest of it. <laughs> Come on, man. Is, I mean, I get. Again, if you've never seen a bracket before. No, I, for I have. <laughs> I'm saying that I understand that you could think it's an identifier. Right. Apologist. Like, we've done brackets on this show for like <laughs> yeah. Thanksgiving foods. We, we have. Had yeah, but there was a number numbers. one seed. Yes, there were. Everything's seeded. Yeah. Yep. yeah. No, yeah. not for Thanksgiving food. No, it didn't uh, say one turkey. Yeah, no, we did that because Seabass put it together. I remember Hold that on. one. Let me find out. But yeah, even if just, it did, but that, it's a, it's that such a would be an concept. identifier, yeah. though. I was right, too well, focused on the food. We'll see how uh, that works out. <laughs> now, Ravy, there, I, I think there should be some kind of wager on the line. Well, I said if I lose to this bracket, that I will buy breakfast in here every day for is, a week. Is that the official wager? Yeah. All right, so you Wait, guys heard it? Rip. Heard Can, it. Hold on. So I have to be combined with Cameron, though? Yeah, Cameron Sorry. really drove. That's unfair. That, that sucks. 